What's happening guys? Lawson here out with buddy Kyle and got Chelsea with us as well. Right now, if you can see this giant, giant structure behind us, it might look like an oil rig that you'd see in like Louisiana, but it is not. This is actually one of the biggest piers or jetties in the entire world. This connects to land six kilometers away and we ran all the way out it along the boat this morning and we're doing a little bit of jigging for queenfish, GTs, mackerel, there could be tunas, there's grouper, everything really. And uh, we are jigging along this just humongous, humongous structure. It is so big that you can actually see the curvature of it. Like you can see the curvature of the earth in the structure itself as it winds towards land. And this morning when we first got out here, it was so foggy that you couldn't even see halfway down the pier while we were out here fishing really really cool so the game plan is do a little bit of jigging we might hop around to some different spots this morning but we're gonna see if we can mark up some fish on the sounder and uh, get tight it is freaking epic holy crap so if you want to jig a little bit jiggy So I do, you drop it down and wait till it hits the bottom and then just go. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. I was sitting there for a solid 10 minutes jigging up and down without a single bite. And I go, here, Chelsea, you take over. You take over for a second and I'll uh, tie up a second rod. And she, what, that was your second drop? Second yeah. drop hooked up on the jig. This is pretty epic backdrop here. Good job, I'm Chels. The one. I'm the one. There you go. Yeah. Now, there you go. Oh, it's a nice queenie. Jump, jump, That's a big queenie. He's right on the surface right there. Good job, Chelsea. Oh, he's, he's going to come for a jump here in a second. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Yeah. Nice, Good job, Chelsea. Good job, Chelsea. Trying to run. <laughs> He's lighting that school up. How you feeling? Ah, uh, oh good. All nervous. <laughs> I won't lose him. No, you. You're good. Yeah. Good job, Chelsea. No, you're good. I'm just slipping all over the place. Alright. Oh, he got, bitten, he got bitten in half. Oh. And that was probably by either a shark or the big groper that lives here. Oh my gosh. No wonder. No wonder he all of a sudden stopped fighting. I was wondering why he stopped. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, Chelsea's first queen fish got bit in half. Same sharks. Poor buddy. That's definitely a big old shark hammered him. Yeah, or a cuda. Go. Well, Chelsea, your first queen fish got munched in, in third. But, Seeking uh, shark. <laughs> good job, baby. That's exciting. Awesome. Kyle. On the little micro jig. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> hey, we'll uh, pop him out. Okay. And I guess, I mean, he'll go back home and that shark will find him, I suppose. The good thing about the ocean is putting something like this back in, it's not going to go to waste. You know, other fish will feed on this. So it is sad for this fish, but in the bigger bigger picture, it actually feeds the rest of the fish. So it's, it's not a bad thing. So. Maybe, but look at look at how look here. Oh. Look at the bite, and then it grabbed it, and then just shredded it. That's crazy. Thanks, nice. guys. Stinking sharks. That is sad that that fish got shark, but there's really, I mean, not anything that we could do about that other than if we, I mean, Chelsea even hammered that fish. She only fought it for probably a minute or so, but you know, you're fishing around big giant structure in the ocean. There's sharks. That's kind of the nature of it. Like Kyle said. That's just nutrients that's gonna go back into the yeah, water. Yeah. So that's the more annoying part of it is that like he fought so hard and you could feel right when he stopped fighting and I, I even said it, I was like he stopped fighting. So but hey, fish fish that's there. Fish, that's exciting. Though. Your first queen fish. Yeah, of course. So it was definitely a fun fight. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> Literally that big queen fish that we just released that got bitten by that shark within 30 seconds something just came up to the surface and ate the whole entire thing in one bite that is horrifying 
Holy crap. Yeah, Kyle just marked a freaking truckload of fish. Chelsea and I double jigging in the back. Alright, we've made a move. Hopefully you can hear me. It's windy, the weather is terrible, it's raining. And that was that was a pretty rough run, but we moved to a little bit of a bay here. See if we can find some coral trout or some smaller fish. I'm just throwing a swim bait or a glide bait basically. Fish. Really? Yeah, there it is. Oh, nice, man. Hey. Alright, fish? Uh, no, but <laughs> I mean, anything's alright right now after not catching a fish and getting freaking slaughtered by waves. Yeah. Nice. Fish on the bait caster. Right off of that rock. Oh, nice trout. <laughs> He woke, Ooh, he woke nice. up right there. We go. He woke up, Sonny. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. Yes, Wilson. Nice, mate. Yeah. Hey, yo. Beautiful. Wow. Today has been an adventure and a half. That, my friends, right there is a beautiful coral trout, one of the targeted species of today. It has not been an easy day. It has been very, very rough, but a fish like this makes you very, very thankful to even just be out here right now. Absolutely beautiful fish. And they're very good eating too, but we'll probably let this one go since we're, or do you want to keep this one? It's up to you guys. They're pretty nice. They'd be a nice whole bag trout. We can do like a trout catch and cook. Do we have anything to keep it in? Well, live well not working, so Buddy does in fact get to go home. His lucky day right there. So all we're doing right now is just burning some hard bodies or some rock piles and stuff in a little bay right here. And basically the ocean is just blowing waves and current all up in here and different types of grouper and which they call trout over here. And all types of tropical fish live up inside these rocks and are crushing bait that's being thrown into the rocks. And that's exactly what we're trying to imitate right now. But my Lord, it is not that nice of a day out. It is windy, it's kind of cold, and very wet. Ooh, nice. Better? Uh, Kyle's on. Oh, nice. Gave up pretty quick there. Yeah, it's like a twitch, twitch, pause, and oh, it's a little stripey. Oh, that's awesome. So, what? these guys are related to the mangrove jack species. So they're little Janus as well, so which would probably mean they're slightly related to the mangrove snapper as well. Yeah, they we would call that a snapper back yeah. home. Yeah, we call it a Spanish flag. Hey yo! but still trying to catch up on some Australia videos I have to edit. Only been home for about three or four days and still trying to adjust to sleeping and getting rid of jet lag. It's like a 14 hour time change. It was a lot of fun going out and fishing along that big giant jetty. It's definitely something I've never seen before. It was base, It was a huge, huge dock that they import sugar cane. And so there's trucks driving up and down this dock and it extends six kilometers out from the coast and it's one of the biggest jetties in the world because it touches land and apparently you can see it from outer space and when you look at it you can see the curvature of the earth and you can kind of see it go away and disappear in the distance 
really, really cool. I've never fished or anything like that before, so that was neat. She also got to catch a queen fish, and that was cool. I was glad she got to catch something good, and bummer that it got eaten by the shark, but I wish I would have been filming. I'm not kidding. We were sitting there, and we talked about, okay, do we want to keep it? And we are like, we don't have a cooler to really keep it in, and so we're like, you know, that shark should still be around here. We like let it hit the water, and within 20, 30 seconds, all of a sudden there was like an explosion on the surface and the thing disappeared. So at least good to know it didn't go to waste. It's hard to capture it in the GoPro. That was one of the roughest days I've been out in a long time. It's hard to tell in the GoPro, but we made a run from that pier to that bay and some of the areas we were running through, it was five to six foot swell. So it was not that fun. But I got a hand at Chelsea. I know that's the roughest she's ever been in. And uh, she held up well and didn't complain. And, not not a fun thing to be out in for sure but all in all caught some fish not a crazy day but the weather was not too kind to us so it was nice to be able to get out there and just catch anything i appreciate you guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure you subscribe to the channel a few more videos coming out and then it's back to florida fishing which i plan on doing some tomorrow so you see that soon i appreciate you guys very much hopefully you enjoyed the video until the next one peace